And so there's two, two concepts here that I want to talk about. And the first one is called adaptability and elasticity. Adaptability and elasticity. And what I think is interesting about those words, although they sound very scientific, don't let them scare you, is this thing about adapting your paradigm to match, to me, what is this ever-expanding consciousness that's going on culturally and on our planet. But actually, a better way of thinking about it is if you, if you think of the transformational ability, the adaptability of you in your own paradigms, them changing, you actually, you yourself are expanding the consciousness of our culture and the planet. You are doing it. You, everybody in this room, everybody on the planet is feeding consciousness. And what's interesting is if you look at the world that you're experiencing, all of our individual worlds, you all have an individual makeup and identification and experience on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a reflection or mirror of what's going on here. And what's amazing about that is the elasticity of what's going on up here can change what's going on out here. One is, is what if this year we just, I mean, it is an exciting time, 2013, we're still here. The Mayan calendar did not explode us into the stratosphere. We're here. So there's work to do. So I think it requires two things. The first thing is, is what if you suspended or replaced or just set aside for a time being old world models or old world belief systems of how you choose to experience yourself in the world? So a couple of them involve physics. If you believe in the, class, the classical physics model of, let's say, you know, in Newtonian science, uh, we believe in the principles of we're living in a three-dimensional world. However, if you believe in the quantum of physics, then you actually understand that we're living in a multi-dimensional world. If you believe in Newtonian science, it talks about separatism. Things, people, you, me, this, that, separatism. Or you can choose to believe in interconnectedness. In Newtonian science, you can believe that things are matter, but you can also believe in things are matter, but come into form through subatomic particles, meaning energy. So part of it is just beginning to shift. Why do I believe the things that have been put into place for so long when there are alternative and equally truthful scientific explanations for the world that I'm living in. One closes out possibility, or one is finite. The other one gives me access to the things that I'm wanting to have as a human being, as a creator. And then the second part, which I think is really interesting <laughs> when I was thinking about it, is what if you started to engage with yourself in the world in a different sort of um, question and answer with yourself? And it usually will involve the question, why? Now, this is a little bit different than sometimes I talk about it because I often talk about engaging with yourself and asking different questions, right? But today, let's just work on this, this thing of why. First and foremost, it would be asking yourself questions about yourself from a why perspective. But I'm going to come back to that. But just think about in the exterior world. Can you imagine what would your world be like? If let's say you went in, let's say you were out for a job interview, or you're an actor and you you got called in, and let's say the agent, I mean they wouldn't do this anymore. They, if they were were to reject you, they would just send you an email. But let's say they called you into the office and they were like, you know, we really like you, but we've decided that we we can't represent you. Well, what if you just asked why? <laughs> well, because you know, well, I don't know, because we, well, we have too many people like your type. Why? Well, um, you, you, you would be a conflict with other people. Why? Well, because you look too much like Aaron Eckhart. <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, why? But you see, you don't ask questions of why, because the first no you hear, the first N-O you hear, confirms your own limited sense of self. And so you stop there. It's very interesting when you begin to think about what would happen if you continue to ask yourself questions of why. Why do you tell yourself it's not possible? Why do you say, I'm too this, or I'm too fat, or I'm, not, I'm too old, or it's never going to happen for me? Or I, Why? So beginning to engage in a very self-reflecting dialogue with yourself about why do you say the things that you tell yourself that support 
a limited or finite belief system. I wrote, crack open your world. Crack it open. Ask better questions. So you guys, what if you, yes, so maybe your homework is when you're driving home tonight and you hear yourself tell you, maybe you'll do the scene tonight and it will be like, you know, we've been off for a month and it will like fall apart and you know, drive home. I am the worst actor ever. Why? Why? Why do you say that to yourself? Why? And then see what comes. And then what's the why behind that? And see what comes. You see, part of the reason why you don't want to investigate, you don't want to inquire within, is because it's going to require you to let go of a control or a certain way that you have seen yourself that is a limiting belief, but that you've heard me talk about this before, that you are committed to staying in that space because it's safe for you. You've got to blast open those doors. Blast them open. They're not serving you. They just don't serve you. And then as you begin to ask why, then you will, I think the second part that comes with it is, well, why not? Of course, why can't I have these things? Why not? I'll just leave you with this last benediction. I think we'll talk more about it next week. I just said, let 2013 be a year of you, us, everyone, letting go of holding back. Let go of holding back in all areas of your life. Let go of holding back. Say the things that you want to say. Do the things that you want to do. Be brave. Be courageous. Go for things. Be risking being vulnerable. Be at risk saying things that may make you embarrassed or exposed or of the heart. Let go of holding back. You hear me say all the time, what are you holding back for? For who? The perfect date? It's not going to happen. Now see, now I'm getting into my lesson for next week because I had already been thinking about it. But that is the trap. We keep holding back. Why? Then you have accumulated lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes of you're constipated with the things that you're wanting to share and let go. Don't hold back any longer. Okay? Let's see if we can all do that collectively and individually in your own life. You will just power through. You will power through. You will crack open your world. Okay. That's all.